Craig, when Frank first saw the site that we're considering for our building, the dairy farmer's site, we were very nervous. Uh, the Vice-Chancellor was very nervous in particular. Um, and uh, after he'd looked closely, the Vice-Chancellor asked him with great trepidation, Frank, do you like the site? And he said, without a moment's hesitation, responded, I like the problem. <laughs> and of course, uh, that is the issue for you, isn't it? To understand the problem and to think through design solutions. And uh, what is your take on, on that problem and how do you think of the solution? Well, it, you know, it wasn't like giving us a site like that, which is uh, the easy way to do it because basically the building sits uh, with a kind of full 360 degree view and um, the sculptural parts of it are easy to see. This site is stuck right in the middle of uh, a bunch of existing buildings and um, so it has to really become a neighbor to the buildings and relate to them and uh, create a dialogue with them and some of the, some of the buildings are uh, you know, pretty tough and urban which is always a you know, good kind of problem for us. I mean we like those kinds of sites so um, you know it's a, it's a very interesting problem to he was describing the kind of tentacles reaching out and touching uh, the other buildings and creating paths mm. engaging with the community so that's that part is really interesting mm. in that site. That, that was a very interesting part of the way he saw the problem that it wasn't just a building that he was doing in isolation but it was part of the surrounding urban land landscape and it was a matter not only of designing something that would suit the business school but how would it be transformative in its surroundings and um, how do you see that process of evol evolving um, around the building as well as the, the impact on that internally? We like urban sites and one of the reasons we like very urban sites is they uh, they kind of force us out of our usual mold of, you know the the things that make buildings different one from the other are have to do with the cities they sit in and um, response to um, what's across the street and in, and in every part of the world buildings get built in different ways there's different materials like there's a lot of brick in the in this area and um, other materials very interesting stone which is a local material so I think that that response to um, you know, to the city is going to make this a unique building different from the other buildings. Um, you know, we hate to repeat ourselves, you know, there's kind of the first cardinal rule of what we do. If we've already done it, we're not going to do that, so we start over again. So, um, yeah, I think that's what's going to contribute to making this a really unique, interesting building.